Hello friends, in celebration of Vasudhaya Kutumbukam, NCERT, in collaboration with uh, Cyber Peace, is conducting the fifth edition of Eraksha competition. Eraksha is a national level competition that would encourage children youth and educators to reflect on their safety and responsibilities in cyberspace and share unique ideas and safety tips that can help others. So in that series, today I would like to say something on the topic related to banking and all. Since we employees generally those who are working in uh, you know, and getting salaries, they are getting salaries accredited in their banks. So, for them, today I would like to say something, it's a few tips that would definitely help them to protect their uh, bank accounts. Since we are getting so many hacking and, uh, you know, uh, mismanagement nowadays, money is being, you know, debited from the accounts unknowingly. So, and uh, you know, without even OTPs, you might have heard that don't share OTPs. We keep on listening these things. But then, even then, you know, uh, without OTPs, they are just trying, they are able to, I mean, the hackers are able to take out our money from our accounts. So, I just want to give you something so that you can keep yourself protected. So, here I go. Since uh, you are going to bank to get out your money from your account, so and sometimes you do transact through net banking, so I would like to share a few points pertaining to net banking. So, uh, number one that you should remember that keep your customer ID and PIN confidential and do not disclose it to anybody, including bank staff. Point number two is that uh, always visit the, uh, any bank or your pertaining bank net banking site through you know home page by typing the bank's website and all through proper address on the browser's address bar. Keep on checking the URL and uh, also try to disable autocomplete feature on your browser and uh, use virtual keyboards. I must recommend you should always use virtual keyboards while logging into your internet banking account. And uh, always try to type in your confidential account information. Don't uh, type that in front of anybody. You know. And do not keep it in your diary. You know, Most of us uh, you know, of the habit to note down certain passwords and you know IDs in our diary that is highly risky and always type uh, you know uh, you know your confidential in a straight way manner then there must not be pauses and all that monitor your transactions regularly and always log out when you exit from your net bank so these are certain points which are equally important when you are dealing with your net banking. Okay. Last but not the least, you should always alert, beware of phishing attacks. Phishing is a fraudulent attempt, usually made through email, phone calls, SMS, etc. Seeking your personal and confidential information. State bank or any other bank or any nationalized bank and their representatives never send you email or SMS or call you over phone to get your personal information, passwords or one time SMS, which are highly secured passwords. Any such email. SMS or phone calls is an attempt to fraudulently withdraw money from your account through internet banking. Never respond to such 
emails, SMS or phone call. And if something happens, please report immediately on report fishing at the rate of your banks .co. In, If you receive any such emails or phone calls, please lock your user access immediately. If you have accidentally revealed your credentials in order to protect your account. So with this, I would like to thank you so much for listening. Thank you.